This video is sponsored by Coursera. Can you hack and win a raffle? Can you put your thumb on the scale to put the odds ever so slightly in your favor to win? We're gonna be checking that out if all goes well in this video. Before we begin, I have to go over the two assumptions for this experiment. Assumption number one is that you can actually physically get your hands on the ticket before entering it in so you can manipulate it and fold it and such. And assumption number two is we're gonna be using a population of a thousand tickets in this experiment. And that means I have to put 990 of these tickets in there and we'll hold reserve for 10 other spots for experimentation. 990, woo, that's a lot of tickets all ready to go. To make this easier on ourselves, I bought five different colors of tickets from the exact same brand and company that we can use in this experiment to easily identify them as we go along. To establish a winner, we're gonna do three separate tests, which are shake to the top, stir to the top, and draw. The ticket folds and tricks that we're gonna be using in this experiment are ones that either I've tried before or other people swear by them. We are gonna have a control, which is this bluish purple color. We're not gonna do anything different to it. The second is the white, and we're gonna be doing a half fold and make an L shape. The third is the bright blue crumple. So we're just gonna crumple it up and then just kind of unfold it. The green is gonna be the roll. So you just roll it, don't crease it, but just make a roll out of it. it makes almost like a circle. And the last one is the yellow, which is a diagonal fold. So you don't fold over halfway, you fold over in a diagonal type of shape and unfold that just a little bit. Those are the ones that we're gonna be using. Let me know in the comments below which one do you think is gonna win and also let me know if there's some other technique that you use, I'd love to hear it. Test one is shake to the top. We're gonna to simply shake this and see which ones rise to the top because those are most likely to get selected. We're gonna take 10 tickets of a certain color and fold mix them in there, we're gonna shake it, and then measure it by seeing the cumulative surface area that's shown at the top by percent of tickets shown. I'm really interested, so let's do the experiment. First up are the bluish purple control tickets. We're gonna put those in the bin and run the experiment. After 10 rounds, we ended up with a 5% average of the tickets showing. Now that's less than the 22% that was expected, and I believe it's because a lot of the tickets stuck together with the red ones and they just fit right in there which is exactly why I think we need to do some manipulation to them to help them improve. Second up are the white half folded tickets. We're gonna put those in and run the experiment. After running the experiment, we found that 68% of a ticket was showing. This is a huge gain over the control and a huge gain over what I expected the average to be of 22%. It really made a big difference having that half fold, getting separation and bringing them to the top. The white half folds are definitely in first place, but let's see how it plays out. Third up are the bright blue crumple tickets. These did amazing. They averaged 105% of a ticket showing, clearly putting them in the win, a lot of separation and a lot of floating up to the top. Fourth up are the green rolled tickets. These were impressive as well. The round shape seemed to make them float to the top at 94% average surface area showing. That puts them squarely in second place for now. Last up are the yellow diagonal folds. Let's give them a try. Let's just say we have a new leader at 113%. These diagonal folds did awesome with this shake test. Test number two is stir to the top. So instead of shaking them like some people do when they select them, we're gonna stir them around. What this will test is which ones will float to the top in the same manner, but it's also gonna test how robust are these formations because this could cause them to come undone a little bit more as your hand wrestles around in it. Let's go straight to the full results. The tongue twister, bright blue crumpled, I'll try to say that 10 times fast, had 87% showing. The white half fold had 80% showing. The yellow diagonal, 70% showing. The rolled up green, 61% showing. And the blue-ish, purplish color, the control, which much closer to that predicted 22%. But all these techniques work way better than control. So how do they rank after the first two rounds? We're gonna do the average of the shake to the top and stood to the top to see who's winning. Combining tests one and two, we have a new leaderboard and they're almost grouped into two different categories. This really shows that they're working. Yuck, look at all this dust, the perforated edges. I think as I shake this up, it's just gotten red dust everywhere. I'm gonna have to clean this up. Test number three is just a standard draw. We're gonna put 10 tickets in of a certain color and fold. We're gonna mix them all up and draw over and over and over again, which I'm not looking forward to. Since we're putting 10 tickets into 1,000, that means that there should be a 1% chance of those tickets being drawn. 
I think, based on my hypothesis, that the ones that are more likely to be at the top will get selected more often. And I also think this will test out which ones have a little bit more grip or are likely to loosen up and get free from the others to get selected, which will put them even farther ahead. So let's get to it. The odds of getting ahead by winning raffles, no matter which hack you use, is not great. If you want better odds of getting a promotion, a new job, or just brushing up in your skills, try Coursera. Coursera, if you're not familiar, if you can just get on the internet, you can access education with online courses, specialization, and even online degrees partnering with top universities. One of my favorite things is that you can link to shareable certificates on your LinkedIn profile or even put them on your resume. I'm gonna put links in the description below to some of my favorite courses for you to check out. So go take a look and now let's see who wins. With the purple tickets, amazingly enough, I drew exactly 1%. Pretty impressive, matches the stats exactly. The white half folds were drawn 4% of the time, which is an amazing increase for just folding these things in half. Very simple to do and a big increase in improvement. The green rolled up tickets did a great job of holding up their shape. The bright blue crumpled ones were just drawn like crazy. And finally for test three, the yellow diagonal folds were drawn. I am super excited about these results. Let me tell you a couple interesting things that happened there. The first of which is the number of times I selected a red ticket and looked over and just missed one of the special colored tickets is crazy high. The second is the number of times I picked up a red ticket that has been either bent or folded or crumpled during this process was extremely high. I should have probably paid attention to that and actually wrote them down, even puts more weight on this technique. As we get to the final results, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe so you can watch more videos just like this one. Here we go, the final results. We have the purple bluish color in last place, which was the control as expected, the half fold white in fourth place, the rolled green in third place, right behind first place is the yellow diagonal fold, and in first place is your blue crumpled fold. So the good news is you don't need any special origami scales to be able to do that blue crumpled fold, you just crumple it up and then unfold it just a little bit before you put it in there. Something anyone can do. I did want to let you know that just because you do this doesn't mean that you're gonna win a raffle. There's a lot of other variables that take place and other people can do things or they can select it in a different way. This experiment has been a ton of fun. This has been Paul with How to Hack and Win a Raffle. Thank you for watching.